Hani Mustafa. She's a Palestine analyst at the International Crisis Group, joining us from the occupied West Bank. Tahani, thanks so much for joining us on this news hour. Now, we have Thank some you. of the details of the ceasefire between Palestinian Islamic Jihad and Israel. Do you think that it was a fair deal for both sides? I don't think either uh, really wanted this to escalate any further than it had. Uh, I think Israel has already reached its objective, uh, which is to prove that it is tough, it's decisive, it can take action when it comes to its own security. Um, ultimately, the objective for Israel here was to inject, uh, you know, re renewed confidence within its own political system amongst its own population, which it's done. Uh, and for Islamic Jihad, the point here was to prove that uh, whether it's Gaza or the West Bank, Israel cannot continue to arrest and detain and attack its leadership, whether it's in Gaza or the West Bank, uh, the occupied territories are one territory. So ultimately, both uh, achieved their objectives. Uh, whether it was a fair ceasefire, I mean, ultimately, what you'll end up having is Israel offering to make certain concessions, as it always does. Uh, the armed factions will try to de-escalate for now, but this does not guarantee any future, um, any future long-term ceasefire, at least. Do you think this was also a conflict that uh, where Palestinian Islamic Jihad and Hamas as uh, the governing, the administration, a uh, governing of the administration of Gaza actually became closer? I think absolutely. I mean, it's not necessarily an issue of closer. They never, they don't work independently, ultimately. I mean, God, Hamas is inevitably in, in control of the territory. So yes, there were, you know, a lot of what had been happening was being done through the Joint Operations Command Center that they have in Gaza. Nothing that happens in Gaza, uh, especially when we speak of armed conflict, will happen outside the purview of Hamas. Uh, I don't know if this necessarily uh, made them closer, but there certainly weren't the kind of divisions that the Israeli side were trying to uh, you know, either inflict or try to imply. Definitely not. Recently, we've seen Israel improve relations with other countries in the Middle East. We've seen the Abraham Accords coming into play. We even saw President Biden take a flight from Israel to Saudi Arabia. However, most Arab countries say that they stand with Palestine, with Palestinians and their cause. Can they leverage closer ties with Israel to help the Palestinian cause ultimately? They could, in theory, but ultimately... We've seen how these normalization deals tend to play out, especially for the Palestinians. Uh, rarely have you ever seen Arab countries really try and rally uh, to, to leverage those ties for the benefit of Palestinians. Uh, you know, again, uh, we saw this this time: uh, the United States, the United Arab Emirates, whether it was. Uh, you know, Jordan, the United Arab Emirates, whoever, these countries rarely ever leverage those ties. We didn't see any pressure on Israel uh, from regional states. Yes, we saw a kind of regional uh, mediation being brokered, but there was no real pressure to make this uh, conflict or this escalation costly for Israel. And I think that's the problem ultimately when it comes down to it, is that if Israel were to ultimately foot the bill, pay the economic and political price for its aggressions, we would see very, well, we'd see less aggression from Israel, certainly. Uh, at the same time, it brings us back to the same old talking points when it comes to Palestine, is that Israel needs to learn that it cannot use Palestinians, and especially Gaza, as a punching bag when it needs to instill confidence among its own populace into its own political system. And rarely has the cost for Israel ever been put on it from, from it, either regional actors or the wider international community. It certainly doesn't seem uh, like a lesson that Israel has learned. Uh, Tahani Mustafa, appreciate your analysis. Thank you so much. Thank you.